Hey, it's Chris. Happy Monday. So I wanted to give you a preview of something that could happen this week. I feel like we get lost a lot of times in all of the legal stuff related to Donald Trump and we sort of don't focus on specific things that matter. So here's a specific thing that matters. So in early January, a DC appeals court, three judges, two appointed by Biden, one by George W. Bush, heard Donald Trump's appeal that he is totally and completely, or should be totally and completely immune from any criminal charges because of the actions he was doing while president. Now, this specifically relates to the charges brought against him uh, in the 2020 election for interference at the national level by, by the special counsel. So what's happening is we are waiting for that immunity ruling. In the meantime, the 2020 election trial that was supposed to start on March 4th has been indefinitely postponed until we get a ruling on immunity. Now, when will that immunity ruling come? Well, there's been a lot of agitation, particularly on the left, that it hasn't come yet. Because remember, one thing that Donald Trump has done throughout his life when it relates to legal issues that he has is delay, delay, delay. File appeals, file motions, do this, do that. Do everything that he can to slow the process down. In this case, slow the process down so Donald Trump is not convicted of anything before he is on the November 5th, 2024 general election ballot for president, at which point, in theory, if he is elected, he will pardon himself or get rid of a lot of this stuff. Uh, there's a few things he can't get rid of, but most of it he could get rid of as president. So he's trying to stall. And right now it's working. So this immunity case matters hugely. If the three judge appeals court says Donald Trump is fully immune from criminal prosecution, well then the March 4th, the federal 2020 trial goes away because he's immune. He was acting as president. If they dismiss it though, it should go forward, but Donald Trump will have already gotten something he wants, which is more delay, right? So the, every day that passes that we don't have a ruling from this DC appeals court on Donald Trump's immunity claim means another day until we start hearing the criminal case against Donald Trump and his interference in the 2020 election. So it's all sort of interconnected. I feel like it's important that we that we note that and establish that this is not, these are not happening. They're happening in different jurisdictions, but they relate to one another in an absolutely critical way. So look, this week will be a month. This week will be a month since the hearing, and I will note at the hearing, the three district, the three judges in the appeals court were very skeptical of Donald Trump's total immunity claim. Skeptical. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean we know what they're going to rule, but it does suggest that they will allow the criminal prosecution to continue. But again, every day that passes when we don't get an immunity ruling is a day in which Donald Trump wins politically because it pushes the date of those criminal trials down the road. All right. If you like this kind of stuff, please share it. Please subscribe. Please like it. I need your support. Now, every day, today, I should say, and every day. I'll be back tomorrow. Take care.